Even though I do love whiskey a lot, there are two men who love whiskey way more than I do. Uh, and their names are Josh and Colton. They have a YouTube channel called Talking Whiskey. I've known these fine gentlemen for like two years. And the reason why I'm talking about them is because they were generous enough to give me this fantastic box. <laughs> which I know has a couple things from them, like swag and stuff. I have not opened it yet. So we're doing an unboxing courtesy of my boys at Talking Whiskey. But before we do that, I want you to know how great these guys are, okay? So their channel is fantastic because it's centered around whiskey, but they have a variety of different videos. They have like whiskey taste tests. Here it goes. Oh God. It tastes like bananas. Jack Daniels tastes like bananas. They have like touring videos of actual distilleries. As you can see, we are back at Chattanooga Whiskey Distillery. We are downtown Chattanooga, folks. It's really cool to, to watch and see it all done. And their editing is on point. So they have a drone right now that they're using to get an aerial shot of the brewery that they're going into. And then they have different pans to what's going on. So like, look at the walking right there. And then just look at all these pans to different things. The camera work itself is incredible and the edits are just thrown together super well. Very professional. So I've been watching their stuff for a long time and they do super high quality work and completely worth the watch. It's very entertaining. Awesome guys. So go check them out. They'll be in the description for sure. But let's get going to this unboxing. Um, I am very excited. So in the last episode they went to Hoppy Trout Brewery which they had been to previously, and they were coming back because previously they had delivered a barrel from Chattanooga Whiskey so that the brewery could use it to brew beer in. The beer was finally done, so Josh came back and tried the beer out, which is incredible. And I commented on the video saying how awesome it looked, and he was like, hey, I have a couple cans, you want, you want one? And I'm like, yes, yes sir, absolutely, 100%, please. So I know there's at least a beer in here, but uh, Josh said he also sent a couple other things, so um, let's, let's get to it. Okay, we're gonna, gonna do that last. Um, ugh. okay, so this is a sticker which is Whiskey to the People from Chattanooga Whiskey. You can see it right there. Uh, that's the main distiller that they're partnered with, that they go to. I think they have like three videos going there, but super good whiskey, um, awesome place. This is, this is definitely going somewhere special for sure. Yeah, I'm in the process of moving, but this is definitely gonna go in the backdrop. Uh, when we get the new place set up, for sure. Look at this. Oh, we got some coasters, got a couple of coasters as well. Whiskey to the people. That is awesome, from Chattanooga. Um, also has the address to Chattanooga, downtown Chattanooga. This is great. I had a previous coaster which um, gets, gets stuck to my whiskey every single time I set it down. We're just, uh, well, you were gonna use this immediately, actually, yeah. Okay, so next we got, it looks like a sticker that's uh, J.W. Kelly & Co. World Class Spirit and Ch Chattanooga Soul. Okay, I, I don't think I've seen this from you guys as videos at all, so I don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to Google it quick, actually. Okay, so that makes sense. So it looks like this is another kind of alcohol produced in Chattanooga. So it's super cool. I'm gonna have to taste this whiskey, find it somewhere, um, so, so then I can, you know, not feel like I just have a sticker for no reason. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll definitely be finding this one for sure. Okay, cool. And last we have a little pamphlet uh, that's Boone and Crockett Club whiskeys. Oh, okay, super cool. So this is another uh, whiskey, I'm guessing also manufacturing Chattanooga or nearby. I, I know the boys went to like a, a whiskey fair recently, so I'm guessing they picked it up from this. Um, super cool. So now I can pick which one I would want to taste. Uh, let's see, there's the American blended whiskey, the straight bourbon whiskey, and then also the straight rye whiskey. Oh, I don't know. I generally like straight bourbon whiskey. Got that, that smooth marzipan and tea nose. Balanced spice and vanilla oak. Extremely smooth at first and ends at a campfire finish. Super cool. Thanks, boys. Yeah, I'll have to get a, these whiskeys for sure. Um, and then you guys let me know down in the comments if you'd want to see me do some taste tests, because I would be down. I'm not as good as Josh and Colton, but, uh, whew, do my best. I mean, this this is this is Grog Games. Okay, save the best for last. 
This is called Impress the King. Once again, it is from Hoppy Trout Brewery. I believe they it was a limited supply of this, is what they said, because they're from that barrel, so it's not like they're recreating it constantly. And it is a 9.1 barrel-aged imperial stout. Uh, look how cool the can design is. And I'm not sure if that's something to do with like the culture nearby the brewery, but very cool, very awesome. It's like a geometric pattern, um, almost sort of... Native American, maybe? I don't know, super cool. So this bad boy is, uh, it's a little cold, but not cold enough, I think. So we're gonna pop, pop him in the fridge, come back, and I'll tell you what I think of this stout. All right, we are back. Beer is cold now. I have brought my wife for a second opinion. Say hi, wife. Hi, wife. I think it's time, I think it's time. It looks really good. Do you, do you want to take it from the, the glass? Otherwise, there's some one left oh, in the oh, can glass, still. Oh, glass, for sure. I'll wait. Oh, I'll okay. do glass. Alright, sounds good. I'll do glass. Okay, first taste. Here we go. That's pretty oh, good. I'm excited. That's pretty good. Here, here you can have a first sip. Oh, thank you. I'll talk while, while you're taking right, a sip. Well... Uh, apart from the immediate strength of the drink, um, oh. you can definitely oh, that's good. you can definitely like get that. the taste of the whiskey in there from oh. the barrel that they mm. used. Um, but it's not; it's pretty smooth, actually. <laughs> like it's yeah. not heavy. I I wouldn't say it's heavy I like mean, other I, stouts I've yeah, had. Yeah, I, I, like, I'm not a big stout person either, so that's actually really good. I like that. I'm I'm more of an IPA person if I hadn't said so already, but. <laughs> I I do like stouts a lot still, and this is yeah, this is I'm a good more. smooth stout. <laughs> I forget what they said for flavors in the video. I'll have to rewatch that. But I'm mm -hmm. I'm getting like chocolate or something. Are oh, you getting mm -hmm, any of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's very nice, very smooth. Mm -hmm. If you had two of these, it'd be interesting. <laughs> well, that's really good. Thank you, Talking Whiskey. <laughs> that's really good. Any other thoughts on the taste, wife? Like I don't know, like like I said, I don't really like stouts that much. But like this is really good. It's not. I mean, it's a heavier beer because it is a stout, but it's not. It's like, not. Like, not like the stouts I'm used to, really. Right. So I would Normally, think, stouts I would think are that. like I don't know, yeah, heavier, thicker. Really you, heavy, you can definitely really... tell they're not as mm -hmm. light as other beers. Yeah. Heavy. This and is malty, like yeah, 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 malty. Malty is mm -hmm. a good word. Yeah. yeah. Not um, not like that. This is very very smooth. Very smooth. I keep as as you can tell. I keep drinking it. <laughs> um. So anyway. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more of videos like this, like taste tests for whiskeys or beer or whatever, we can do that. Yeah. Um, once again, thank you Talking Whiskey, Josh Colton, amazing boys. Uh, go Very check out their channel. Um, there will be a link in the description below. So if you're near Andrews, North Carolina, go to Hoppy Trout Brewery. Um, I don't know if they'll have this stuff because there's a limited supply, but they will have some good beer there. They have pizza. It's a, it's a big deal. Yeah, you should definitely go there for sure. Also, if you're in, in the area of North Carolina, go to Chattanooga, around Chattanooga area. Go to Chattanooga Whiskey. Go to all the stuff there. Uh, go to Tax Cock and Whiskey's channel, though, because they, they have more. They'll show you the local stuff that they have going on that, that, down there. But I've seen all their videos. They've got some awesome stuff. Um, but, yeah, uh, thanks again, guys. And uh, see you, fellow Gargers.